Hello! Today I want to show you a little utility that I've been using recently during development. It's a cache cleaning file watcher for Magento 2. It allows me to work with all caches enabled while it automatically clears those cache segments that have to be cleaned based on the files that are modified. That way, rebuilding the cache during a reload takes only the minimum amount of time possible and the feedback cycle during development is as quick as possible. It also takes care of removing generated code when a source class is changed. Let me give you a demo. The installation instructions show how the utility can be added on a per project basis as a dev dependency. But since the tool can figure out the Magento instance to monitor based on the current working directory, I like installing it as a global dependency. So let's do that. Composer global made 2 tv magento cache clean. And this will take a little while. For me it's cached so it's a little quicker. And there it is. Now if you haven't done so before for some other global composer dependency it's probably a good idea to add the global composer bindir to your path. So if you haven't done it yet you can do it as follows. Like this. And there it is. It's probably a good idea to add this here to your bash profile or set shrc or whatever shell you're using so it's set automatically and you don't have to add it again for each new terminal session. Now to run the actual watcher I want to use the php storm terminal window so it's easy to observe what's going on while we're changing the code. So I'll run cache clean and I'll add the dash w flag to enable the file watcher and I'll also add a dash v flag to make it more verbose so we can get a better impression of what's going on. And that's it. Now we can start developing without thinking about flushing the cache at all. The only time the tool has to be restarted is when a new theme is added, which thankfully doesn't happen too often, at least for me. I've kept the tool running for days in the past. So let's observe what it does. Here I've got a little example module and I want to add a front controller that displays a page. So let's start by adding the routes definition. So there it is and it recognizes routes XML was added and those files are flushed as part of the config cache so it cleans the config cache for us. Now I want to change the front name here to be only example. And if I save, since the file was changed, it again flushes the config cache. Now let's go ahead and add the controller file. You can see it also flushed the config cache again when we added a new controller class file. And it doesn't flush the cache again for this file because it's not necessary. Magento keeps a list of all potential controller class files in the config cache. So when we add a new controller, that cache has to be flushed. The tool keeps track of which action controllers already exist and which ones are new, so each new action controller only triggers the config cache to be flushed once. So let's implement the controller, which means we have to implement the interface. Let's uh, override the constructor to add a page factory so we can render some content.
All right, let's try this out. So the path was example, index, index. And the first reload here will take a little while since the config cache was flushed before. And again, it was flushed because we added the controller and changed some configuration, but everything worked great. Now let's go ahead and add some content. So we need a layout XML file. And the route ID was mage 2 tv example module. And the action path was index. And the action is also index. And this time it flushes the layout and the full page cache. So now let's go ahead and reference the content and add a content block. All right. You can see the cache is being flushed as required after each change. And if we create a template, um, example, the HTML, it flushes the block HTML and full page cache. All right, let's reload. And there it is. This time the reload was a lot quicker because the config cache wasn't flushed in between. Now, please note one more thing. If we change the index.php file here, the controller class, uh, for example, maybe we want to add a new constructor dependency here. How about the customer session? Maybe we need that for some reason. And save. You can see it also removes any code that was generated based on this class. So we can simply reload and everything still works as before, we don't have to worry about all those routine maintenance in the background. The tool takes care of it for us. Okay, that's pretty much it. That's all it does. You can find the utility on GitHub at mage2tv magento cache clean. If you have any trouble or questions, please open an issue and let me know. And that's it. I hope you like it and happy coding.